The Russian Army's combat losses in Ukraine from February 24, 2022 to June 15, 2024 amount to about 525,150 invaders, including another 1,090 troops killed or wounded in action in the past day. The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine said this in a post on Facebook. Also, soldiers of the armed forces destroyed 20 tanks, 29 BBM and 37 artillery systems of the enemy. We will remind, before that, on June 14, in the evening briefing, the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine said that 81 combat clashes were recorded at the front during the day. Also, the military command informed that on that day the air force and missile troops and artillery of the defense forces of Ukraine hit 15 areas of concentration of enemy personnel. At the same time, Moscow intensified its aerial attacks on Kharkiv, using drones and surface-to-air missiles. Taking the city remains a Russian objective. For now, Putin appears determined to break the resistance of its one million inhabitants by subjecting them to deadly and terrifying strikes. Kharkiv's regional governor, Ola Sinihubov, said the number of attacks had recently gone down after the Biden administration allowed Ukraine to use some US-supplied weapons against military targets in Russia. Previously the Russians had fired on Kharkiv from positions in the Belgorod region, just over the border. They would shoot, hide and shoot again, he said. In the last days there has been a cardinal improvement. Last month Putin declared that he did not intend to capture Kharkiv and merely wished to create a sanitary zone to protect Belgorod. Of course they want to occupy Kharkiv. They will advance until they are stopped, Sini Hubov said. The governor said he had sympathy with citizens who ignored frequent air raid sirens. You can't spend 10 or 11 hours a day in a shelter, he said, noting that the situation had stabilized. Germany announced the transfer of new military aid to Ukraine. According to the German government website, the assistance package will include 10 Leopard 1A1 tanks and ammunition for them, 20 Martyr tracked infantry vehicles and ammunition, Iris T SLM medium range anti aircraft missile system, small radius anti aircraft missile system Iris T SLS, 3 HIMARS rocket artillery systems, 2 armored engineering vehicles docks. Armored Repair and Recovery Vehicle Bergepanzer II, 4 Wissant 1 Demoning Vehicles with Spare Parts, 16 Fuel Tankers, Ammunition, Boats, Small Weapons and more. This military assistance is delivered in two different ways, on the one hand there are the federal government funds for security capacity building, which are used to finance deliveries of military equipment and other material from industry. On the other hand, there are deliveries from Federal Armed Forces stocks. In total, the Federal Republic of Germany has so far provided or committed for future years. Military assistance with a value of approximately 28 billion euro. Funds for the Security Capacity Building Initiative in 2024 alone for military assistance to Ukraine amount to approximately 7.1 billion euro. From these also Germany's contributions to the European Peace Facility of the European Union are financed. So far already approximately 5 billion euro in 2023 and approximately 1.6 billion euro in 2022 were spent on military assistance to Ukraine. Additional approximately 2.9 billion euro have been committed in the first two years of the war for deliveries, which will arrive only in the years 2025 to 2028. Since the beginning of the Russian armed attack on Ukraine on February 24, 2022 Germany has delivered material from Federal Armed Forces stocks amounting to approximately 5.2 billion euro reflecting estimated replacement values. Also, more than 10,000 Ukrainian soldiers have received military training in Germany.